Hey everybody, we're going to do a quick little look at the multipressor. I was reading a forum this week. Someone was asking about how you can break your sound apart into different frequency spectrums or frequency sections and manipulate them each individually. Well, you can do that using auxiliary tracks and then e essentially equalizers to help filter out the unwanted stuff. But this is another option as well. This plugin breaks your sound into four different sections, or you can do any number of different ones here. So we can just turn on one and do the whole sound, or do all four. Each of these essentially has a volume control, so it makes it like an equalizer. And we also have uh, a, a compressor expander, so we can also change the dynamic range of it as well. Okay, so let's hear this. One of the cool things that we can do here is solo out each of the different sections. If you want to get a sense for some of the things that this can do, just try out some of the presets first. I don't recommend leaving them there because you're going to want to change it for your particular song that you're working on. But it gives you an idea of some options for this. Now, whether you want to use this on an individual instrument or the master track, that's really up to the needs of what you're working on. I've got this one right now out here on the master output before an additional limiter. The limiter is just making sure we don't go above zero and clip. And then this one is right before that. Uh, so you can put it there or you can put it on individual tracks. What I don't recommend is putting this on every track before it gets to the end. Just use it when you need to, but it's can, it can really be a very powerful tool when you're trying to get that mix loud, but also control frequency content of the mix. Okay, cool. That's it. Uh, hope you enjoy this. I'll see you tomorrow.